Good evening. This is the Duke of Fremont Street broadcasting from Las Vegas, Nevada, here in the United States of America. Today is Sunday, May 22nd, 2022. As always, before beginning my short video, I would like to, uh, to drink a nice toast to y'all and thank you for stopping by. Salute. Mm. So refreshing. Well, the market is open in Asia right now. We're not uh, open in the United States, but uh, we will be tomorrow morning. But uh, Asia is usually a fairly decent indicator of what we're going to be doing um, here in the States. Um, gold is currently trading at 52.10 bid by 53.10 ask, up $5.40, or 0.29%. Silver is trading at uh, $21.89 bid by $21.99 ask, up 11 cents or uh, almost, uh, or just a little over half a percent, 0.51. Personally, I believe the uh, metals are strong. I believe the trend is your friend. And I think even with the, um, <clears throat> the events taking place in the world and with the manipulation and so forth, uh, the metals, uh, the precious metals will continue to rise. Today's topic, I think, is of interest to uh, anybody that deals in the precious metals. It, uh, it's about uh, the, uh, I want to discuss about the oldest exchange rate in history. And that's the gold to silver ratio or silver to gold ratio, whichever you prefer. Um, this ratio has been around for thousands of years and um, and uh, continues to be with us today. It's something to always keep your eye on. Back in ancient times, the Roman Empire established uh, a silver to gold ratio at 12 to one. In other words, 12 ounces of silver to one ounce of gold. So that, and that, that uh, held up for um, quite some time. However, later on, uh, around uh, 1350 AD, a couple years ago, the ratio was established at 14.2 to one um, in Venice, Italy. Uh, that later fell to a, um, a remarkable four point, uh, pardon me, 9.4 to one ratio uh, that, you know, shortly after that. In the 1450s, the new established ratio was 12 to one. So you can see a pattern here where anywhere from that nine to uh, 14 or so to one ratio historically. Um, here in the United States, Congress established a 16 ounces of silver to one ounce of gold ratio in 18. 37. Uh, later on in uh, 1792, with the Coinage, Coinage Act, uh, Congress established a 15 to 1 ratio, 15 ounces of silver to 1 ounce of gold. Okay? So, what in the world is going on today? Uh, recently, we actually reached a hundred, over 120 to one ratio, over 120 ounces of silver to gold. And uh, today, based on the uh, figures I just gave you, we're 84.6 ounces of silver to, eight, uh, to one ounce of gold. So the conclusion is, is silver undervalued? Is gold overvalued? What, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this? I think, um, in my opinion, that silver is terribly undervalued. And I'll put my, um, 
I'll put my silver and gold up to uh, prove this point to you. Um, let me just show you something. This is a one ounce Krugerrand. It's one ounce of pure gold, South African Krugerrand. And here, this is 85 uh, ounces of pure silver, silver rounds. So I will trade you one of these for 85 of these all day, okay? So if you're in Vegas and you decide that you like this trade, you know, maybe you've got too much silver and it's too bulky and you wanna go into gold. Here we go, I'll trade you 85 of these for one of these. And uh, there, no actual money will be uh, changing hands. I'm from Missouri. I'm an old uh, horse trader from Missouri. So, you know, it's just gonna be an even Steven trade. It's basically spot for spot. So for, if you'll look at this stack, here's like, for example, 25 of these Krugerrands. So that's 25 ounces of pure gold, okay? I'll trade you that 25 ounces of pure gold. Come to Vegas and you've got 25 ounces of gold, for example. And in return, I want 2,125 ounces of silver, okay? So, I'd either take that in one ounce rounds, one ounce bars, 10 ounce bars. And I don't want to go above 10 ounce bars. Uh, 100 ounce bars to me are, uh, are too, uh, too cumbersome. If you feel this trade is inequitable and that uh, I would be getting the best of it, keep in mind there's high premiums on both sides. There's high premiums for gold and there's high premiums for silver. But if for whatever reason, you don't uh, feel that this trade would be equitable for you, you must be of my opinion that silver is undervalued. So um, if that's the case, um, then um, why? I can't tell you why. Uh, you know, there's probably a million factors that make it that way. But historically, for thousands of years, we've been anywhere from the let me look back at the figures. We started at the, uh, the at the twelve to one ratio, so anywhere from the twelve to the to the sixteen to one ratio, and now we're at uh, eighty four point six. Something doesn't add up. So um, I'd like to know your thoughts on that, and uh, if you get a chance, give me um, give me a uh, call and let me know. Speaking of, give me a call uh, before you come to Vegas. Give me a call. And uh, my cell phone is 702-561-9431. And I will meet you in person in a very mutually convenient and secure location. And we can do this horse trade if you'd like, or any other trade for that matter. Uh, I buy, sell, and trade this 24 seven and have for over 50 years. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. If you wish to leave comments, uh, don't hesitate to leave those. Once again, I would like to thank you for stopping by. And this is to your health and to your wealth and to your happiness. Salute. Well, thank you for stopping by. And um, I hope to uh, see you very soon, especially here in my beloved Las Vegas. So long.